We're getting older now, but we all remember the video games that mean the most to us. From Earthbound to Zelda and everything in between. Join me, Metroid's Prime, as I take you on a journey to show you the video games that changed my life. Hey guys, welcome to the very first episode of my brand new channel. My name is Metroid's Prime, and today we're going to be doing an episode um, inspired by the guys over at Arcade Impossible. Um, I went out and got my very first arcade cabinet, and uh, it's one I've been really wanting for a long time. Uh, it's my favorite arcade cabinet from my childhood, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, this arcade cabinet was released in 1989 by Konami, and uh, it's largely regarded as one of the best beat em up uh, arcade games of all time. So, um, as you can see, just got it in here. Um, haven't put it together yet, so um, it's looking kind of rough right now. So, I'm going to uh, clean it up, uh, put the uh, joysticks on, close up the cabinet, and uh, we'll plug it in and see if it works. A lot of these older cabinets don't have free play. So, um, the guy that I bought it from, um, he installed toggle switches on it. So you can just hit a button um, that's down here. And it will mimic putting in a coin so you don't actually have to keep a lot of change on, on hand to use it. Um, another good thing about this cabinet is it came with all the keys for all the doors except the back. Um, I can replace that uh, at any time. Um, it's pretty easy just get a new lock set to put on so that that'll be an easy fix all right so we're just going to close these doors here make sure our toggle switches are out so we can get a credit if we need it lock this door and just push down a little Do the same with these, leaving the toggle switches out. Now I'm going to place the uh, frame around the CRT monitor. It just covers up the open spots around it. Gives a nice aesthetic look there. One thing I'm going to do before I put the glass on is spray some Windex on the CRT monitor, clean it up real nice so there's no streaks. I think I'm going to take off my frame. And there is a hookup back here that plugs in the power to the fluorescent light behind the Mylar. Um, I already plugged it in before we started the video just so it would be ready to go. Alright, let's put this back over the top here. And it comes with a piece of plate glass um, to put over that to protect the CRT monitor. So I'm going to use some Windex and I'm going to clean it up too. Alright, that looks nice and streak free. Should slide right up under there. All right, give it one last clean off. Yeah, that looks good there. All right, guys, only two things left to do. Let's put on that joystick panel here and just plug it in and play.
All right, it has three bolts that secure this down. We're just gonna tighten those up. All right, the guy that had it before me did me a big favor. He's already got everything labeled, so it takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. So I just match up the, I just, I just match up the numbers to whichever one it hooks up to. So, all right, so we got all these hooked up now. Just matched up the numbers. We got all our bolts plugged in here and tightened up. Alright, so we're just going to close it up. I'm not going to lock this down yet because I actually haven't decided where I want to put the arcade cabinet. Alright guys, so we got it all put together. Just one thing left to do. Let's play it. Alright guys, keep your fingers crossed. The fluorescent lights off. I think we got a winner. Alright guys, time to try it out. Thanks guys for joining me for my very first episode. I'd like to thank the guys over at Arcade Impossible once again for inspiring me to go out and get my very first arcade cabinet. I'd uh, really love to hear what you guys' favorite arcade cabinet is. Um, leave some comments below, video response, uh, give me a thumbs up, and uh, please subscribe. Uh, new to the community, um, looking forward to putting out a lot more videos like this. So. I'll see you guys next time.